Okay, hi everyone, welcome to Routine. So this is my new studio, which is nearly done, hence boxes and things you can see in the background. Um, and I'm just trying to find a little time when the baby's asleep and the other children are asleep to do a little bit of Pilates. So here's a little short routine, a couple of things we've done already, um, and then you can try and join in with me. So I will talk you through some of the exercises and we're just going to try and flow the exercises, okay? I've got a mat, but just sit and lie down anywhere that's relatively comfortable for you. Okay, and we'll just go through a couple of things we've already done already. So starting in your, what we call your neutral position, and your feet hip width apart, and your knees pointing up towards the ceiling, and just take some of those lovely breaths that we've talked about before. So we're going to breathe into the tummy. And on our exhale, just so draw the pelvic floor in and the belly button towards the spine. So we're going to breathe in and breathe out. And on those out breaths, just try to release any tension that you might feel in your back in your shoulders, in your hips, everywhere, just melt them into the floor on that exhale. And you can do that as many times as you wish. As you're doing your breathing, you could start to do those little rotations we talked about before. So imagine a clock face, and you're just moving your pelvis through all those numbers on the clock. So across, up, around and down. Try to keep those knees as still as you can and reversing. Just breathe normally and just try to get a little rhythm. You might find a little massage into your back. It might be a little bit clicky. That's okay. Just getting the pelvis to move. So maybe five in one direction and five in the other. Drawing the belly button in and using the pelvic floor. And then just find a nice comfortable position where you have an imaginary marble and it's in the middle. So it's not rolling too far up or too far down. There should be a little gap in your lower back. Don't imprint your back into the floor. There should be that gentle curve. Okay, so from there we're going to take a breath in. We're going to use our exhale, pull the tummy in, we're going to roll that marble into your belly button, push into the floor and come up into your little bridge. Keep the shoulder blades in contact with the floor. Take a breath in at the top, exhale, and coming all the way back down. All the way back down to your neutral position. Breathe in, exhale, draw the tummy in. Bit by bit, you can squeeze the bottom and press the feet into the floor. Breathe in at the top, exhale, to come down. Remember you can have a little cushion in between your knees if that helps to keep them still. So inhale. Move on the exhale, up to the top. Breathe in at the top. Move on the exhale. Keep the hips high. All the way down. Okay, let's do three more. Inhale and exhale. Really good exercise for your back, for your spine, for your core. Steadying those knees, breathing in, exhale, push into the floor, hips nice and high, don't overstretch at the top, breathe in, now keep the hips high as you come down, don't drop the bottom, so think about keeping those hips nice and high, last one, breathing in, exhale, suck that tummy in, build that strength. Build it there, breathing in, exhale, down. Okay, good, you're gonna take the hands back behind the head, clasp the fingertips together. 
Elbows slightly forward. You're going to nod your head. Heavy head into your hands. Don't pull into the neck. Drop the head back. Pull the belly button in. You're going to come up. Breathe in. Exhale to come down. Now watch my pelvis. It doesn't move. Breathing in. As you come up, keep that bottom down. Curling up. Feel those abs working a little bit. Exhale to come down. Breathe in. Exhale. So now you can breathe in to come down. Exhale to come up. Work a bit quicker. Inhale to come down. So you can either hold it for an inhale or just come up on the exhale. Belly button in. And inhale to come down. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Two more. Exhale. Inhale. Last one. Exhale. And inhale. Okay, good. Take the arms down. Now we're going to do a little stretch for your back. This is lovely. Just keep those knees together and just let those legs flop and get a lovely stretch. There might be a click. That's okay. Turn the head and just breathe into that stretch. Hold it here for as long as you want. Use your tummy muscles to come all the way back. Try and squeeze those knees together and come all the way back to the middle. And then let's take it over to the other side. Get a lovely stretch into that waist. Try to not lift the shoulders too much. And just breathe here. So on an exhale, pull the tummy in and feel the side working here. So this time we're going to do that movement but control it much more. So squeeze the knees together and try to lift up and over and only go a little way. Breathe in. On your exhale, coming back. So this is working the side muscles here. Breathe in, exhale to move, but not too far. Keep the shoulder blades into the mat. Breathe in, exhale, coming all the way back. And again, inhale and exhale. Inhale to wait, exhale, draw the tummy in, come back, feel those muscles working in your tummy, breathing in, exhale, hold the position, breathe in, exhale, just come back, good, again you can do those as many times as you like, okay, so from there we're slowly going to just come to standing, we're going to roll onto your side and just slowly sit up, try not to get too much of a head rush, take your time, those exercises you can do all over again, or you can just repeat, um, increase the repetitions. But I'm just going to show you one last little move that you can add on to the end of this routine, which is called a roll down. It's really good for your spine. So standing up nice and tall, you're going to take an inhale, drawing the tummy in, you're going to roll down. You can do this up against a door or a wall. Keep the knees straight, bend them when you need to. Breathe in at the bottom. Exhale, suck the tummy in and you're going to roll up from the base of your spine. This is really nice exercise. You can do this in the morning, before you go to bed. Just rolling all the way down. Let the head hang, shake the head a little bit. Draw the tummy in, it's really important. Use that tummy to help support the back. And I'll just do one more. Exhale. Breathe in at the bottom. Exhale, pull the tummy in. Press those feet into the floor. Coming all the way back up again. Okay, good. Now you could maybe do 10 of those, six of those, however many you can fit into your day. They're called roll downs um, and you can do them standing up against a door, against a wall, 
really lovely exercise for your back to get your back moving. All of these exercises I will break down and just maybe do a video on one exercise or two exercises, but that's just a little routine as we're talking about routines at the moment that you can perhaps get into the flow of doing. Um, and as I said, you can increase the repetitions of any of those exercises. You could do that much and do it all again. Um, and hopefully you'll just feel a little bit more looser and start to build the strength in those exercises as you work through. Okay, well done, see you soon.